Welcome to this quick walkthrough of the features and options configuration utility that we have within Infor Cloud Suite Industrial. Features and options is a great option for folks that don't need a full-blown configure price quote function, which uh, we also have if you're doing very complex configurations. But in the case where you're doing just choosing options that may be on an item such as paint color or uh, different items that get replaced by each other within a configuration of an item, which is really just an option or a feature. And you can do some simple rules like include and exclude. So if you paint something red, you may exclude the blue wheels from the bicycle as an example. So you have things to do like that, but it's all it's included within the standard functionality of Cloud Suite Industrial Sightline. So we're just gonna walk through that. And over here, I'm just gonna hop over to my features and options configuration example. So when I come to my customer order lines, the one line item I already have on here is a bicycle that's not marked as configured. So you notice our features button is grayed out because it knows that I don't need to configure this particular bicycle. I'm gonna add a new line for a bicycle that is configured, which is my BK-27000. And then my features button lights up. So I'm gonna click on features to go in and configure this particular item. And here are my groups of features, uh, paint, flags, grips, and so on. And down on the bottom, as I select each of these groups, my selection for the options within those groups are gonna change. So I can select certain options from here. For example, I'm gonna choose my uh, flag, red, white, blue. Uh, let me hop back up to my paint and make sure that I select a paint color. I'll say I want red. My grips, I can skip a choice, so I'm not choosing grips at all. It'll allow me to do that as long as I specified that you're allowed to skip these choices and it will just use whatever the standard grip may be. And I will just go through and choose what I want. There's also gonna be some selections that will show no option because of certain rules that we might create. We can create like include and exclude rules that say if you make one selection, then a different selection is not available. I can also include incremental pricing. So at the bill of material level, I can say what each incremental price of the different options are. So that will increment the price of the actual item on this line uh, as it's being selected. Do need to select the cushion. I'll select my speed, 10 speed or 12 speed. I'll go with the 12 speed. And do I want reflectors? Now nah, I'll skip that choice. And once I have all of my choices made, I can simply save my configuration. Once I'm saved, it now creates a source, which means that the work order produced from this will include only these options that were chosen. So it's a, a configured job order based on those selections. And that's basically all there is to it. The setup of this is fairly simple compared to a full-blown configure price quote utility. And it is standard functionality if you have simple configuration needs. Thank you for watching.